I used the 10,000 snow blocks to create a massive 100 by 100 platform, with a bell in the middle, a wide portal underneath, and a single turtle egg to distract any piglins that happened to spawn in the portal frame. This enormous build was created for one purpose, to spawn a single mob at optimal rates and nothing else. Which mob? Well, we've seen it once before already. It's the savior of Skyblock, the Wandering Trader. In a casual playthrough of Minecraft, Wandering Traders are rather forgettable. They kind of just show up, the llamas spit at you, and the trades they offer are mediocre at best. In Skyblock, however, these merchants are the lifeblood of the world, being the only way to acquire new sapling types, crops, sand, and, of course, pointed dripstone. This Wandering Trader farm was necessary because they spawn so damn slowly on average taking five real-world hours for just one to appear. And that's with the farm. The worst part about all this, though, is that it's still only a 10% chance for one to have the dripstone trait. With this farm built, I could keep Minecraft running overnight, and while I slept, wandering traders would meander into the farm and jump through the nether portal for safekeeping to be checked in the morning. It still took three full days to get the trade, but at long last I could do it. I instantly got to work making a dripstone farm, and after AFKing for one more night, I had enough stalactites to make an automatic lava generating contraption. The next morning, I was presented with a most magnificent sight. I had more lava than I would ever need. It was a huge relief. I no longer had to rely on the sole lava bucket I found in that chest so long ago. But more importantly, I now had the capability to advance into the industrial era, as I could finally create the machine. To truly take Skyblock to its limits, I couldn't keep standing around mining cobblestone or waiting for turtles to spawn. I needed to be more efficient than that, otherwise I'd be here for the rest of my life. I needed to start automating more things. Well, not just more things, I needed to automate everything. I wanted an unlimited 